Um, hello, my name is Andrea Nunez. I'm one of the organizers from Occupy FIU. Um, we plan, we've been planning for about two weeks to have a music event where we would have local bands come out, gather together in a FIU South Campus in order to just talk about our campaign to stop tuition hikes. We would do outreach and at the same time also celebrate um, the solidarity that we have with the Haiti earthquake, um, a memorial for the Haiti earthquake victims. So we've gathered here together, gotten a bunch of uh, support from other students and people from the local community to play and have our music. The thing is, we had gotten permission from the ombudsman. Yeah. He said that it was okay, we can go ahead and have even amplified music here, as long as we do not disrupt the classrooms and nobody complains about the noise. The thing is, the cops have met us here and completely are just trying to disband us from actually performing here, saying that administration has told them that there's no way that we can be here, there's no way that we can have any music at all, uh, no amplification. Now they're saying that acoustic is provided, but there's a cap on the audience, 30 people or less. Um, and we're saying that we, we don't want to abide by that. This is a public university. We're all students here and we believe that we have the, we, we can't assemble together and we can come and speak up on student issues. So we're just here gathered together just setting up anyway and we're going to play our music um, and we're just going to stand in solidarity with um, with all the students who believe who believe that what we're doing is right. So you're going to perform regardless of what We're going to perform say? regardless, yes, absolutely. Uh, acoustic for now, but definitely not complying with the 30 the 30 max on, on the cap on how many people should be here. How many people do we have here right now? We have about 50 people. About 50 people. Mm -hmm. So did they say they're going to start making arrests? No, no, that has not said anything. The po police liaison is just going back and forth, letting the, the police know what the administration has told them, which is that, that um, we can perform here now as long as it's acoustic, but again, uh, specifying that no more than 30 people can be part of the audience. So the, which plan, is, the plan was to have not acoustic, just electric? The plan was to, yeah, to have not acoustic, just amplified music. Um, but right now we're just, uh, we're just dealing on whether to, to stick with acoustic. Acoustic amplifier. So that's what's going to happen then? Acoustic. Yeah, most likely. That's, at least we're going to comply with some part. It's not plugged in. I'm perfectly legal. So it, it's too loud for the learning part to hear what it is. So if it interrupts the class, that's where the problem comes in. Okay. So, so now keep in mind, we we're, we're here to protect your rights. Okay. Oh, no one here. No one here is upset at you guys. Okay. So the the rules are that you you are required a permit every time you have a gathering such as this. Now in this case, we're letting you guys gather without the permit as long as you do it over there, in front of the lawn of the Grand Center. Okay, so everybody's doing this. No problem right now. Everybody's doing this. That's it. Your diplomacy is over. Go ahead. Diplomacy is over. Five minutes. Diplomacy is over. Okay, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, right now our show is being stopped because we can't have amplified music because we need a permit which they're just making these rules as they go along so what we're going to do is we're going to comply we're going to move to the lawn area we're going to be away from classrooms and uh, we hope to have our show there so let's see how it goes yeah we're going to amplify there because we're away from classrooms and they shouldn't have a problem with that they said that um, they're iffy about it they, some, they say you can't they say you can't but we're going to amplify because because we are standing for our rights, for free speech, and that's a free speech zone, a free speech zone, so. Back in October of 2010, we decided to assemble together and uh, uh, actually start an occupation on campus. Reason being is to bring up the issues of, um, you know, student debt rising, tuition costs rising, how it affects the working class background of students, especially those that attend FIU, a public university. So we decided to gather that and, and start an occupation. Um, administration said uh, you would only go to free speech. If you want to assemble, there's a free speech zone, which is considered the GC lawn. We went ahead and we're like, fine, we'll, we'll assemble in the in the GC lawn. Then that day when we were going to start our occupation, uh, the cops were sent over by administration saying that you cannot set up a tent, you cannot stay here past 9 p.m. And that's the main problem over there. They're capping a time that we can assemble in what they call the free speech zone. So they say at 9 p.m. we have to pack up and leave. 
Um, there's nothing that states in their in their policies, nothing in university ruling, nothing that says an actual time cap. Fraternities and sororities are allowed to stay there way into the night, past midnight, partying, having their socials, um, you know, bringing uh, just all their fat brothers and sisters to come together and stay on the lawn past 9 p.m., but except when us, when we students want to speak up, we want to address the university issues, then they cap and they put a time on, on when to leave. So we've been, we have been facing some uh, regulations that don't exist on paper from administration and then just definitely hindering our, our freedom of speech and our freedom so, to assemble. So not only is there a free speech zone, but it's also time to speak. Right. There's a free speech zone. Um, that's why we were like, fine, we'll go ahead and we'll assemble on the lawn, which is the zone. Um, that same day, we well, we did some research. We looked at the, the terms of agreements online posted on the FIU website cons uh, with all the rules of uh, to abide by for the free speech zone. Nowhere did it state a time limit. And then that same day when we checked the website, the day that the cops had told us about administration's ruling, they said that um, uh, we went online and we checked the website and it said under revision. So it has been taken down. 